let's buy a tractor. All right, we're going to buy a tractor. That green paint is expensive, let me tell you. Okay. Now, I, I, I'm going to do an assumption here, but don't, look, don't go nuts over my numbers. Follow the principle, okay? I'm, I've, got a princ I've, I've got a destination here, quickly. Let's say we're going to pay $30,000 for a tractor, okay? That's not, a, that's not an expensive tractor. We're going to depreciate that for 10 years. 10-year depreciation. So what's the depreciation cost on that tractor per year? 3000 Good. Thank you. Everybody's not asleep yet. Good. $3,000 per year is the actual depreciation cost of that tractor. So what if I run that tractor 100 hours per year? Every hour I run that tractor, <laughs> what is it? $30. You got it. 30 bucks. That tractor, I want you to think about this a minute. Okay. What if I run that tractor 200 hours? 15. Boy, that's a big change, isn't it? Just for 100 hours. How about 300 hours? 300 hours. I didn't, I didn't double it. That went down to 10. All right. Another 100 hours. Okay. And just for sake of discussion, what if I put 1,000 hours on it? Three. Three. Alan Nation, if you don't put 1,000 hours a year on your tractor, you shouldn't own one. And it's because of this. So for years, we would make our compost. I had a neighbor. Farmers work cheap. They're used to not making any money. <laughs> Chances are you got a neighbor that's a farmer that has a front end loader. When you're ready to haul compost, pay him. Jim used to come down. He'd work with me for a couple of days. We had a tractor, but no front end loader. And he'd come down and be happy as a clam to work for $100 a day. He enjoyed it. Enjoyed being, yeah, he was lonely. Farming's lonely. Gave him a chance to sit there and Chew his tobacco and, you know, kind of talk about things a little bit, maybe, you know. And uh, if you're going to buy equipment, run the snot out of it. It's okay to buy equipment, but if you buy equipment, run the dickens out of it. Specialty equipment almost never pays. The only specialty equipment that pays is a sawmill, in my view. That's a specialty piece of equipment. A tractor is not a specialty piece of equipment. A tractor, you can use it for a lot of different things. You can pick up logs with it. You can, you know, but a, a, a sawmill is a specialty piece. All right. F Excuse me? Pl yeah, those are all, th th those, those are certainly specialty. Yeah, you can't, you can't pull a hay wagon with a plucker. Uh, but 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 that's part that's part of your um, your, your your overhead of, of that enterprise. All right, making hay. It's a big deal among, especially small. Let's make farms. hay. So we're going to have to get our equipment. We're going to make small square bales because we're not a big operation. Okay, so now we're going to need a tractor. We don't need a really good one. Let's just get a $20,000 one. Okay? A mower. And I'm giving you very used auction type prices for something that will, that you can take home and use and, and get some life out of. Okay? I, I'm, not, I'm not buying junk here, but I'm certainly not buying new. All right? We're, uh, um, a baler. Okay, a small square baler, you can get a very serviceable small square baler for 7,000. A New Holland, a John Deere. Um, okay, a rake. Okay, 3,000. You're gonna need a hay elevator because you gotta get them up in the mow somewhere unless you got, you know, unless you're friends with Shaquille O'Neal. 
and um, and that's gonna you know nice used one you can get for a thousand dollars and then you're gonna need a hay wagon okay unless you want to spend an extra you know double your time and you can get a serviceable hay wagon by the way we have I don't know what eight or nine hay wagons we go to auctions and buy the chassis they always have a rotten deck on them with the sawmill we can in a couple hours we can rip up some nice oak put new stringers and a deck on it and you got a nice hay wagon okay what do we got here thirty nine thousand dollars but let's assume the tractor is only used 30% for making hay. In other words, it's not fair. The tractor might take, you know, bring a bring wood into the wood stove with a, you know, a wood trailer, blah, 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 okay? So if we say that the tractor's only used 30% for hay, we're gonna, we're gonna change this 2,000 to 6,000, okay? Because it's only being used 30% for hay, all right? That drops our capital hay making to 25,000, so we'll erase this 39. We're gonna make this 25,000. And if we have a 10 year depreciation, okay, that means our annual cost of this hay making equipment, our actual depreciation cost is $2,500 per year. Everybody with me? Okay. All right. Now, here's where it gets fun. Twenty-five hundred bucks. What if we, you know, we're a small acreage? Let's say we make two hundred bales. What is the equipment depreciation cost per bale if we make two hundred bales? Twelve fifty. We haven't put labor, twine, lube, fuel, repair costs. Nothing. This is just the depreciation to own the equipment. Is that an expensive bail? Yep. Makes a pretty expensive bail. All right. But I want to show you something here. What if we make 400 bales? Okay. What happens then? 628. All right. You can go on down. I finished my chart at 5,000 bales. What if we make 5,000 bales? Okay, then it goes to 50 cents a bale. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? That's pretty amazing. That's just depreciation, not all the other stuff. So just so we can appreciate scale, here is our current haymaking capital. Our tractor, we've got a, a big, big, big used one out there, portion of its value, 15,000, that, that's the portion of its value. The big square baler, $50,000. The mower, 22,000. It's a nice big 11 foot disc bind. The rake, 10,000. The tether, 3,000. Okay. And we use our regular, our flatbeds and, and everything, our regular tractors and all that for, for picking it up. So that's going to uh, offset, you know, other things. The point is, this is $100,000 that we have wrapped up in making hay. Whew, that kind of makes me have heart palpitations. <laughs> so what's the 10-year depreciation? $10,000 per year. But I want you to appreciate something. We're making the equivalent of 30,000 small square bales a year, which means our cost per small square bale is 33 cents. And we don't have to personally touch any of those. We just sit on the tractor and run hydraulics, okay? So I'm not, I'm not trying to get people to want to build empires, all this, but I, I want us to be realistic about what we can and can't afford to do at different levels of scale and when things can kick in and, and make it right. So if you have equipment, use it. 
And if you don't know your numbers, you have to search and figure until you feel comfortable with them. Otherwise, you'll question every decision you make. And it'll be spousal arguments. It'll be intergenerational arguments. Are you with me? You've got to push the numbers until when you make that decision, everybody on the team feels comfortable that this was the right decision. Otherwise, you have tension, you have relational breakdown, you have, you have resentment. Well, he spent money on that, and that's just, a, just an a, a emotional, just because he wanted to do it. He just wanted that you know, green paint or whatever, okay? <laughs> and that's what happens, all right? So we have to go through this. This is not the funnest part of, of, our, of our farms, but it is, it is absolutely foundational, not only to make the right decision, but to keep harmony on the team so everybody signs on to the decision. Okay, we've run the numbers, we've looked at, is it, have I missed anything? Miss, speak now forever, hold your peace, you know? And then, and once everybody's there, then all right, we're gonna make the decision. Everybody goes out and yeah, and everybody's on the page. Yes.